In this video, we are asked to find the equation of a line that goes through the point 6, negative 9, but is also perpendicular to this other line, y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 4. We are also asked to give our final answer in slope-intercept form. To find the equation of any line, it is important we can first identify the slope. We are not directly given the slope of our line, but simply told that we must be perpendicular to this other line. We must recall the property that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. The other line is fortunate enough to be in intercept form already. If it were not in intercept form, we would need to solve for y. But here we have y equals mx plus b already. We don't really care what the y-intercept is on this other line. What is important to us is the slope. And the slope of this other line is negative 3 fifths. Our line is perpendicular. You will recall that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Because this line is negative, our slope must be positive. It is also the reciprocal, meaning we must flip the 3 fifths over to get 5 thirds. We now know the slope of our line is positive 5 thirds. We also know we want our line to go through the point 6, negative 9. We'll use the point-slope formula in order to get us started. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Replacing the values with what we know, y minus y1, which is negative 9, subtracting negative 9 is the same as adding positive 9, equals our slope. Make sure we use the correct slope, the opposite reciprocal one, positive 5 thirds, times x minus x1, which is 6. We now have the equation of a line that goes through 6, negative 9, and is perpendicular to the other line, y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 4. However, the directions also request that we put it in slope-intercept form. This means we must clear the parentheses, then isolate the y. We can quickly clear the parentheses by distributing the 5 thirds through to get y plus 9 equals 5 thirds x minus 10. We get that minus 10 by multiplying 5 thirds times the negative 6. If we put the 6 over 1, we can see the 6 and 3 reduce, giving us negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is that negative 10. Finally, we can isolate the y by subtracting 9 from both sides, and we have our equation, y equals 5 thirds x minus 19. We found this equation by first identifying the slope of the perpendicular line, knowing our slope would be the opposite reciprocal of that. Using the slope in our given point, the point-slope formula gave us an equation we could then transform into slope-intercept form.